Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hong Kong Study Circle and Hong Kong Philatelic Society joint meeting, uh, uh, the March meeting. And, um, and this one's we talk about uh, first day cover or, the, or, or anything to do first day in, in the broadest sense of words. Okay. Uh, just to change the uh, the order of battle, I would like to start first uh, to to tell you a little bit uh, what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Okay, so um, can you can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Not uh, yet. Well, we're still seeing the uh, original. Oh yes. Well, yeah, okay, 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 right, okay, right, let's see. Okay, okay, right, yes. The subject of my talk tonight is the good, the bad, the ugly, and the happy. <laughs> it's all a little <laughs> mystical. Anyway, so you, 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 you can see what I've prepared for you. Okay, so, okay, the, fir the first, the first, wait, is that actually, uh, it's, it's a first day cover. But actually, it's not necessarily the first day cover of Hong Kong because I understand that you you get a lot of first day cover. Even I think for Victorian stamps, you get you get the earliest usage uh, of the stamps. But you know, actually, for commemorative stamps, I mean, this is certainly a, it's a first day cover, uh, which is the which is the obviously uh, every every collector would know the which is the uh, the 50th anniversary of, of Hong Kong. Um, uh, uh, of colonization of Hong Kong uh, in 1891 Jubilee. Um, now, uh, covers are very scarce. I think first day cover, I don't know how many, but you, you, you actually see one on, on um, uh, uh, the, the so-called the Hopkins cover, and, and then this is the farmer cover, okay? So, um, the farmer cover. Okay, so you can actually see that uh, this is actually reproduced on a postcard, uh, um, <clears throat> and, uh, and I think it belongs to some local collector. Um, but obviously, if you look, if you look at it, 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 it is a first day cover. It's, it, it's bought and cancelled on the first day of issue, and uh, irregularly mm -hmm. because I mean, in those days, um, it would have been the yeah. issue uh, for cancellation of the stamp. And this one is got a CDS on, so it, it, Probably cancel uh, by a uh, CTO. Yeah. So interesting about the Victoria Hotel. I mean, Mr. Mr. Uh, is it Mr. Farmer? You know, he, he lives in this Victoria Hotel. It's his dress, Victoria Hotel. And you can actually find the advert in the in the in, in the in the China Mail uh, uh, about Victoria Hotel. Actually, it's Prior and Queens Road, Central Hong Kong. And it's very interesting here. Um, Within five minutes walk of the principal government offices, including the post office. So, so I mean, it's not very far away from the from the GPO at that time. So it would be very handy for him actually to to put, put to, to maybe he, he was he was a guest there and uh, and then stayed uh, and then and then sent and sent his cover. I doubt whether they actually this cover was actually sent. It's probably just CTO and took it back. But you know, in those days, you have to write your address there. On any envelope before they got stamped. Anyway, here's the little uh, snippet from the China Mail of the January 22nd, uh, on the, actually on the day of issue. I don't know why, I mean, my, I, I'm not sure how they, they actually, uh, the, the newspaper actually published something on the 22nd when the stamp was issued on the same day. But uh, anyway, somebody, actually, a, a philatelist, complained that um, they are restricting the sales of the stamps. And um, he would, I, he says that I myself think if any restriction were necessary, $5 would have been a fair limit. So $5 would be about, what, 250 stamps is more like a, a, a two sheets. So, um, and, and he also talked about here, you can read about it in, in the replay and freeze it and, and take a good look at the interesting. So he was, he was talking about asking people to queue up, uh, to, to buy up all the stamps. So maybe it was kind of, uh, early speculation of 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 of, 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 of the stamps. Um, so anyway, so this is the jubilee, and um, not many, many. I think it was only about twenty or maybe twenty or covers actually known, and a lot of them 
uh, were, uh, were actually stamped or used on the second, third or fourth day. So um, the first day covers maybe, I don't know how many maybe, but there are two here, shown here. I think there may be maybe one or two more, not many. Okay, so the next one after the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the Jubilee stamp on 1891 is 1935 Jubilee uh, uh, of, of the um, uh, King George V. And then um, you, you can see this is another snippet from the, from the China Mail uh, saying that it was a very popular uh, issue. And it's all day long yesterday, the, from the time the post office opened at 8 a.m., large queues gathered outside in order to purchase the, the, the stamps. 50,000 of these valued at $7,500 were sold all together on one day, which is a, a lot of money in those days. And um, the, the, um, the owning to the demand, the post office remained open until 6 p.m. Uh, and the first sheet of the issue went to His Excellency the Governor. The Governor at that time was uh, Sir William Peel. Um, I think, and, and I think he he, he just ended his uh, uh, his duty uh, about a, a fortnight after the issue of the stamps. So this is this is the uh, uh, most of the covers you find uh, on, with the Jubilee stamps are just blank uh, covers with first day uh, written on it. Uh, 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 met sent on the mail on the, on the 6th of May, but this is an uh, extraordinary one and uh, also with extraordinary price. If you <laughs> in recent years, uh, the price has been going up, uh, and uh, with, the, with, the, with the design, the coinage design uh, of the king and queen and, and the full set. And um, uh, I think there, there are quite a lot of these around. Uh, if you're still interested, there's still one on eBay right now, ask, asking for buy, uh, uh, quite a very high, very high buy it now price. Uh, but anyhow, um, so, uh, this is the, the, the illustrated, one of the few, I haven't actually seen another one, maybe there, there's one or two types, but uh, most of them are blank uh, covers uh, 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 with, without illustration. So this is the this is probably the second uh, uh, highest market value first day cover of Hong Kong. Well, of course, the first one is the Jubilee, which is uh, the 1891 Jubilee, which is which is you know like a, like a, a astronomical I and mean, hasn't one hasn't actually come into market for many years. So I don't know how much it affects when it comes down. But this is the second one. Okay, so the next one is the 1937 coronation, which is also very, very popular um, in, in Hong Kong at that time. And, um, and then you can actually see they, they, they have started advertising companies like, like the Graka. You know, they were advertising first day envelopes for sale at 50 cents. At 50 cents actually is quite a lot of money. You know, we were buying, a, well, buying an envelope at the time, a cover, first day cover at the time. Uh, so this is then actually a lot of the covers are still sent uh, like plain cover. Uh, this one uh, it's is to uh, Fort Bayar in in, in, uh, in Guangzhou Wan, Guangzhou Wan um, in China, which is actually French territory, and you can actually see this is the arrival cancellation um, arrival. Um, so actually you can see the it was a, it was a general holiday. Um, on the on the on the day of issue, it says here, uh, Wednesday May Wednesday May 12, the General Post Office, Kowloon Central Post Office, and all branch of post office will be open from 7:30 a.m. to noon for the sales of the coronation stamps and other business, except money order. So clearly, it, it's not a full post office business that um, that that will be available. It's just basically the post office is open. For, for for stamp collectors buying the stamps, and um, and it says all letters bearing coronation stamps posted in the ordinary uh, posting box at G GPO and Kowloon Central Post Office uh, only before midnight will be date stamp May the 12. So presumably in, in those days you probably don't get hand back service like now. So here is more notices from the from the the Hong Kong Daily Press. Uh, the, the China Mail rush for stamps and uh, uh, and the rush for coronations and first day covers give rise to unprecedented, unprecedented scenes at the post office in Hong Kong and Kowloon, where the huge crowd had gathered long before the time of opening. Well, 
it reminds me of the days when I collected first day covers. Uh, so, and then it's quite interesting. There were several fainting incidents inside the post office where it was found necessary to drive policemen to direct the traffic. So, <laughs> so it, it's it's quite a, quite a, quite an event. Um, uh, so uh, this is this is another uh, notice in the in the Hong Kong Daily Press. That was the, from the China Mail this week, the Hong Kong Daily Press. Uh, announcing that uh, you post you you, you the, the letter drops into the box uh, uh, before midnight or the 12 with the date stamp the 12th of May. Anyway, okay. Okay, these are the there are more illustrated uh, envelopes for this issue, and then you can see there's a very sim simple ones just with the the crown and uh, that uh, the different type of crowns and not maybe not too accurate this one. Uh, so it's, it's, these are these are kind of covers that you, you probably find uh, quite often, um, uh, say maybe on on the on the internet or, or amongst uh, the stamp dealers. Uh, it's quite nice pictures uh, of the young king and queen. Um, okay, and there's some more here with uh, the that uh, I believe is an Edward crown. Um, and uh, and then you get you get some other different designs, the airmail uh, design for airmail, and then uh, you, you got the, the one of the, the Union Jack, uh, and then the, the, this is this, this quite curious one. Maybe this actually advert by the newspaper Enterprise Limited says uh, that uh, it says a coronation first day envelopes. And in gold and blue, so it may be this one they're talking about because the design is vaguely similar to to the design of this envelope. And and it's very interesting here the comment that there is money in stamps. Remember how the silver jubilee skyrocketed. <laughs> so speculation there. So not sure what what why what what the silver jubilee. I mean, uh, uh, oh, that that really skyrocketed. I thought that is 1891 jubilee would have skyrocketed at that time. Anyway, so here's the here's the third issue, the centen centenary issue in 19 uh, uh, 1941. Very little, um, uh, you find very uh, actually very little information on newspapers uh, in 1941 because of the war, and there were more. Uh, 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 snippets of information about war than than anything, uh, everything. It, it, there's hardly anything uh, talked about the first day covers uh, or the stamps. But um, here you've got uh, a cover here with four different, uh, with four diff uh, the same design in four different colors. And uh, well, we believe that that is that is possibly the, the first uh, first day cover of the Hong Kong Philatelic Society. It certainly says. Hong Kong Philatelic Society here in English, but the, the Chinese wording is different from, from now. So it, it could be another Hong Kong Philatelic Society in 1941. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but you know, um, but uh, aside from these four different colors, uh, there's also a, one, the dark blue version, which is uh, the rarest because I think, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, I think that the commonest is, is, the, uh, is the red one. Because I think the Chinese really don't really like a dark blue uh, color. I mean, uh, so, um, it, it's it's uh, if you if you can find it, let me know. <laughs> uh, okay, well, it's not very expensive anyway. So, but but uh, it's not easy to find. Anyway, so the next stop now, uh, 1941, <coughs> Japan invaded, and then it was the Japanese occupation period, which I'm not an expert, and uh, and somebody will probably talk about it. And they, these are the, these are two covers actually shown by uh, Peter uh, some time ago. Um, uh, I think in June, I think uh, the, the meeting last year, and it, it showed a it showed a, uh, a first day cover uh, with with the with the shower year seventeen in nineteen forty two, uh, and the um, reopening of the Hong Kong Post Office uh, on twenty fifth September nineteen forty five. So, so that's uh, that's the two covers that we showed. So after that, we have the victory. We we're actually called victory issue. But if you look at that, if you look at uh, the, the, the the contemporary newspaper, they actually call the P stamps. Uh, this is this is uh, a, a cutting. Well, no, no, except from the from the China Mail of the of the twenty seventh August. Interestingly, if you if you read this, um, 
it has been decided to issue them to commemorate the return of the British fleet to the colony on August the 30th. Uh, so as that day has been declared a bank holiday, they will be put on sale at all counters of the post office on Thursday, which is actually 29th of August, the day before. Right. So, so these 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 covers, these three covers. Oh, sorry. These three covers are actually uh, carries the the Hong Kong Philatelic Society uh, Union Jack uh, emblem. I, I'm not sure when that actually uh, became uh, 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 the, 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 the 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 symbol or the, the, the of the society, but uh, you know that's that's a very pretty standard cover. That you've got three different versions. One is the this is a this is a, uh, printed on a on a kind of white paper. Although it actually looks a bit beige, but this is the one. Thank you. Yeah, that, that one, uh, white one paper. One. And then in then two in brown paper, and one is a plain one. One is with a pre-printed uh, cross for registered mail. Uh, this one's quite interesting because um, it, it, you can actually see that the K there, which is uh, a repaired K. I think mean, that that CDS would have been the the Kowloon Hong Hong one with the with the hot H. Taken out and put a, a put K uh, uh, replaced with the, with a K to correct the, the CDS. So you uh, you can read you can you can read it at your own leisure when you when you look look at the, uh, the zoom again. So uh, the background here again too much. Uh, well, obviously the stand was uh, was designed by the uh, Wayne Jones, uh, who was in the uh, POW camp. Um, and uh, the, 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 the stories have been told many, many times in, in, mm. in, in, um, in, in italic literature. Uh, but you know, this is the snippet from the, from the, from the, uh, the China Mail of the 28th August. And he's talking about uh, the concept of the design and why he used the, the, the phoenix um, and, uh, and the, the words, the wording here, that you, know, you, can, you can read about it. You know, and then, of course, the fam most famous era, the famous era is the, is the extra stroke in, in Hong, uh, which actually um, you can actually find in the, on the dollar as well as the 30 cents. One. This is the 30 cent one blown up, this is the dollar one. Okay, but you know, I challenge you actually to find it on first day covers. I mean, it would be quite the first day covers are numerous, but uh, it would be quite interesting to find one on first day cover. So, anyway, okay, ah, now. King Charles III, okay, before, before he's called, uh, His Majesty becomes King Charles III, who is just Prince of Wales. You know, and uh, and uh, this is actually uh, quite an interesting card, I think, I think uh, produced by, uh, uh, by uh, uh, Cardorama. I'm not I'm sure, I'm sure, sure Susan might, might, might remember this card, uh, featuring the portrait of uh, uh, the Royal Highness Prince Charles and Lady Diana with the same background. As, as the stamp of the, the this is the omnibus issue in the same uh, stack the same background in, in a diff slightly different color um but th this is the design and it looks a pretty good maximum card uh except that uh diana was was thought to be the future queen of england but unfortunately that's not the case sadly and uh, in retrospect one would have thought king's road uh, cancellation might have been more suitable So, and, uh, and we, we come to uh, the, the, the bad ones. What are the bad ones? Well, bad ones, actually, I'm not sure it's, it's a bad one or, 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 uh, or, or actually somebody actually said this is actually forged. This CDS, is whole, whole CDS is forged, including the, uh, because it has a very strange tiny 38 uh, digit. Uh, it, it's, okay, the digit there. So um, uh, uh, some actually said that oh this is forgery uh, because because uh, this is actually uh, 11th of January is, is the first day of issue of the five cent uh, 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 stamp duty uh, in lieu of postage stamp a uh, short shortage of the five cent postage stamp um, now if you if you look at this cover very strange it has no well maybe there was there was an address label that fell off uh, probably. Uh, and the, but you see the thing is the the, the actually the registered GPO CDS is genuine. 
because you can actually find the same type used on genuine registered uh, 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 mail. And on the back of it, there's just nothing on the back and, and, and then a label. So one wonders actually whether the, that label actually belongs to the cover or whether somebody stick it on the back is to show because to, to, to accord with the register CDS. So it's a bit of a mystery whether this actually went through the post at all or just by favor. Done, uh, in, in, um, and then uh, of course, uh, our, uh, the, the great collector, John Tang, has turned up with all these uh, covers, registered covers with the tiny 38 year digit here uh, on, a, on a later part of the year from about uh, September and October and December. Uh, so, so it's for sure, I mean, this 38, tiny 38 digit uh, was, was used at the time. Um, and, and it's it's not a it's not a, a, a fabrication <laughs> fake. Anyway, now industrial mishap energy. <laughs> well, I mean, is a it's it it is. It, I saw so why is it why is it under bad is because it's a bad printing and it's just missing the yellow ochre and the black. Uh, uh, and this was actually. Uh, uh, the, the cover was actually purchased from the post office, um, and then it's not it's the, the missing yellow ochre and black does not refer to the missing color of the stamps. It, mis it refers to the missing color of the envelope, uh, the first day cover. So this is one of the you know it's like uh, interesting, interesting, interesting uh, sideline really. Okay, ah now this is quite interesting. Opening of the butterfly post office butterfly. Uh, estate is in uh, Chun Moon. Uh, it's a housing estate, and uh, it, its post office was opened uh, on the 12th Jan uh, on the 12th January 18 uh, in 1985, and uh, is actually it's the hundred hundred branch office of Hong Kong. So, so uh, this is actually it's a special edition. It's slightly larger uh, than the normal first day cover. And, and, and it is actually a limited edition for invited guests to the opening of the post office. But it, 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 it's, a, it's a, obviously it's a major event because some of the other, uh, some of the, the post office openings, uh, I mean, they were just uh, attended by uh, maybe the, the, the council member or, or a board member or what. But this one is actually attended by the governor, Edward Yoke at the time. So it, it's, a, it's a major event. So that's why they, they produce a special first day cover, not like any other uh, opening day special edition. But interestingly, I think uh, it is said by uh, um, uh, collectors who actually went to the opening on that day that uh, uh, all the, most, of, most if not all the covers uh, are, are franked with only one stamp, which is the $5, which is here, is this one. And this one has got the whole set. Now, uh, this cover is actually quite suspicious, actually, because if you if you take a look at, at the CDS itself, I mean, you can actually see some irregularities of the of the of the cancel. For example, there's a little bulge here. It should really, I mean, it's, if it's perfect, it should be a perfect ring, and shouldn't be a little bulge. And and then there was some darkening of the inking uh, on the stamp. So. I'm actually not, I have not actually seen or uh, inspected the cover, um, but uh, it is some, some believe that these three stamps actually do not belong and they were added later. And then the reason why they were uh, uh, stuck on a, at a very strange position, I mean, for example, if you see that $2 is lower than this one, and uh, really, you know, if somebody is trying to, to stick four stamps, it should be a perfect, perfectly aligned and not uh, at a different angle. It's, uh, basically, is to is to, to touch the CDS, and, mm -hmm. and there's a little believed to be a little touched up uh, at each corner of the stamp. But you know, you really have to lift the stamp to see whether the actual uh, you you actually find the CDS actually underneath the stamp uh, to to confirm the suspicion. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ugly. Now, <laughs> we, we've got some really bad fakes, basically. The ugly means fake, ugly fakes. So you've got some, uh, uh, well, what, 
you can actually see the handwriting is identical, uh, made by the same people. The CDS uh, is fake. Um, and one wonders actually, but but actually, if you look at it, actually the, 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 the stamp is real. So it was just with a little bit of ink touched up uh, to make it tied to the cover. And this may be, I think it's probably a fake stamp, uh, but this one is perfectly genuine, the stamp. And, uh, and, and and this one is just a, a copy of the postmark um, by hand. So uh, this is a, a fake first day cover of the first commemorative stamp. Okay, and this is a very bad fake. Uh, you can actually see with a, with a uniform penny post uh, uh, a card. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, and then with the, with the seven cent rate uh, with the fake CDS and and with probably a fake two percent. Some more and this is a, obviously a complete fake. Fake with the stamp is a fake. The, the postmarks are fake. But actually, um, this guy who marketed um, uh, these kind of things uh, on on a certain internet uh, sites uh, has the word replica stamped. On, on, I think both the stamp as well as the uh, 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 on, on the card. So I um, actually you shouldn't put the replica on the card because there's nothing wrong with the card. Right? But it's a stamp that they, they should stamp. But I bet you anything that if you soak the stamp off, uh, you would you would have the replica on the back of it. So that's a fake CDS, obviously. Now this is this is quite interesting. Uh, I mean, if you're not careful, I mean, you know, this is a it's actually it's a fake first. Uh, the stamps are real. Uh, the the cancel fake, and you can see it's quite crude. Uh, this one it looks like a rubber rubber thing, rubber thing. Uh, and then the same thing. Uh, this one uh, fabrication, obviously, uh, using genuine stamps. And then this one is a bit more skillful, and you can see the postmark uh, a little bit better. You know, actually used on the on the cover to USA. Uh, probably the cover. Uh, it is genuine uh, and probably be, there was a stamp there, the stamp was taken off and then uh, this, the, the real stamp, uh, the real 10 cent was, was put there. Uh, you, you can see some uh, sort of discoloration and wrinkling. Uh, so uh, that, that is a very bad sign that something, something has been soaked off with a, with a fake postmark. But uh, this is really good. I mean, this one is uh, obviously, again, the, it's a fake. Uh, 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 I mean, the postmark is fake, but it, it, it's fairly well done. I mean, it's even got a tiny, you know, 35 uh, 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 year slug on it. Uh, but, but you know, uh, at, at a casual glance, I mean, you could have fooled you, especially uh, when you when you want to bid for it on on a, on your uh, on your mobile phone. Uh, but uh, you know, on big screen, you're not going to fool anybody. And then, of course, you've got uh, uh, the uh, a lot of uh, uh, fake postmarks with the uh, the five cent postal fiscal. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the stamp duty uh, in lieu of postage stamps, and uh, the fake Shang Wan, uh, uh, fake Victoria Hong Kong cancel. Uh, but, but from the same, actually, from the same guy, because you can actually see, you know, the same address, but uh, you know, it's, it's clearly it's, it's a different cover. Okay, so this one again is a bit Hong Kong Victoria. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's no such postmark. Yeah. That's a, a bit of a cheek. And then the, these two, I uh, think Yama T is very well done, actually. Um, yeah, but but uh, you know, the, 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 the slots uh, look nothing like the like the real one. And then somebody even cut out the Hong Kong Philatelic Society, uh, uh, the, the, pack, the the first day cover. And then put it on a plain cover with a fake postmark. Okay, finally, and uh, and uh, and happy, we have a happy ending. And finally, we can see each other's smiles again on the fur on the on the first of March two thousand and twenty-three. We don't have to wear masks again. And this I showed last time oh, with, a, uh, with a, 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 a a postcard uh, given out by the government um, free. 20 exactly 20 years ago and then i talked about the first issue and the second issue and uh, that actually was uh, posted on the on the first of march uh, just to uh, uh, commemorate this event three mass day and um, 
surprisingly, actually, the, the post office let it through the post uh, with, with only a, the, the tw uh, two, uh, this is a 20, 20 cents uh, uh, label. So, we, so with a, with a, a small mm. post, with a, with a 20 cent postage, you can actually send uh, the, the postcard. Uh, but obviously, this postcard was intended for ML and only for a limited period. Okay, so uh, anyway, this is a kind of uh, fun thing. <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, that that's that's my uh, that's that's all, all I'm going to talk about. So um, if you have any questions, please. Okay, if not, uh, we go on to the next presenter. Um, would, would Susan want to uh, to uh, show us something? Yes. Okay then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope mine are all genuine and there's no forgeries oh, among these. Right, yeah. Th this is a sort of related item. Miscellany of philatelic related items. There's some. There's some George the Sixth material, mainly postal stationery items. The Merle Elizabeth items, but are first day post office covers. And right at the end, there are two earlier items that are a little bit more unusual. I'm starting off with George the Sixth bilingual postcards, first day covers. The name and address is familiar to us all, I'm sure. Posted at two different branch offices, Sayin Pun and Kowloon City on the 5th of May, 1938. This is the post-war one, issued the 24th of April, 1946 on that very rough buff colored card because they couldn't get in decent quality card after the war. And that one's posted at the GPO. Major Stokes, it's addressed to, who seem to be very keen on first day postal stationery items. The four cent cards had a one cent adhesive added to them when the rate went up to five cents. These two cards posted at Yamati and Kowloon are dated the 9th of March, 1951. And in the Lee Scant listing in the paper on the Hong Kong Study Circle website, he has the 9th of March as the earliest recorded date. Mm -hmm. However, these three items are all dated the 8th of March, the day before, mm -hmm. from Tsai Pun, Wan Tsai, Shung Wan. Mm -hmm. So perhaps 8th of March was the date of issue. Perhaps he couldn't get round all of the post offices on the same day. Well, who was the Susan? May I interrupt you? Um, yes. Who was the hire of the GPO box two two one? I don't know. I, I'm wondering whether it might be Stokes because it's oh, okay. the only his I've seen with the typewriter uh -huh. use, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Oh, good, 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 yeah. good. Yeah. But the, you get it a lot on the um, postal stationery items. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, ours 446. We, we've been there for, for many years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So 221 is, is a pretty early uh, box number, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Probably in the 30s, yeah. 20s. Yeah. 30s. Yes, but I don't know. I don't know who did that one. Mm. Right. Um, these were the envelopes that they issued after the war, the 21st of October 1946. These are the two lower values, mm -hmm. the fifth, uh, the five cent green and the, the eight cents brown. Again, is, is, is Stokes Esquire, who's obviously out of the army now. And this is the high value on the 20 cent. And as far as I know, it's only recorded use on this date, there's only first day covers. There aren't any used on any other date. Mm. 
I'll have included these because you put yours oh. on at the beginning. Yes. <laughs> yes, the China Philatelic Association ones. Very, very interesting, yeah. They seem to be very popular. Very popular. Yes. These yes. are posted you can them the <laughs> yeah. They have the SSP labels on them, do these? Yeah, very nice. Uh, you know, which were used from May to September 1946. Yeah. I wonder how many of these were produced at that time. They, well, you know, the CPA. There must have been a fair number of them, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I brought those in London, London 1990, I think. Yeah, but yeah. this is this is their number one, you know, their number one cover. Yeah. yeah, yes, it seems to be very popular. Very popular, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've, got, you've got a nice pair there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're different, of different value as well, 30 cents and one dollar. Yeah. yeah, on separate ones, yeah. yeah. But how, how can the 30 cents be, I suppose it's, the, it, it's all right for registered, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's for the local. local. Yeah, yeah, for local. Yeah. 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 One dollar is, is oh, it's over franc. That's the other franc to want, yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, right. Some Elizabeth uh, opening of branch offices. Yeah. Calhoun City didn't reopen until the 1st of December 1959. Mm -hmm. And by this time, Jack G was having a go at mm. creating first day covers. Mm. So this is the ordinary 10 cents rate with a number four cancel. Mm. And this is a registered one that he did. Mm. They've mm. actually got the decent, the right label, Kowloon City A. There. Also quite early because it's number 12. So number 12, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> not quite yeah, the early. Not necessarily not 12 one. customers. It could be, the, you know, one, 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 then one to 10 by one customer. <laughs> 11, yes, yeah. so it might have, yeah. yes, there wouldn't have been so many customers now. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mon Kok opened at the same day, and Jack G has got his first day cover for that one as well. He must have been busy on that day. Yeah. Or, or he sent you know, sent somebody from the message. office, yes. <laughs> and you probably get a message there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. Now, this is the mobile post office number one. Yeah. It's opened the 14th, 1960. Skeleton count. The yeah, and it's the skeleton. That's yeah. right. Yes, with the number one in the index slot. Very nice. As far as I know, it was only used on that date, mm -hmm. no other date. And it, of course, the the label is not a, a mobile post office label. It's yeah. just a Kowloon D and the number. Just borrowed the, the role of labels from Kowloon. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I believe that the the number one operated in the northwest area of the New Territories. Yeah. And this is Mobile 2, yeah. which opened on the 23rd of July, 1962. Mm -hmm. uh, Cycling area. And that's the van, which, Andrew, I, thank you very much. You provided the photograph. <laughs> do, do you know, do you, do you see that the little uh, thing on the top? What do you think that's for? <laughs> it looks like a loudspeaker. Did yeah. they have a... Yeah. A sort of announce the arrival of the van. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought. <laughs> yes, bring out your letters. Yeah. 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 And Sai Kung reopened, but not after the war, but not until 1962. Yes, another skeleton. And another skeleton. And incidentally, if you look at the year, the, the digits for the year are smaller than for the mm. day. That's another one where they have smaller digits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Jack right. G is still going strong. Mm. Yeah. We now go back a bit. This is a four cent Victoria card um, posted on the 8th of May. Uh, sorry, the 1st of May, 1895. But mm. they scamp this the earliest date as the 8th of May. So this is a week earlier than that. And you'll note that via Brindisi and London hasn't been crossed out. Mm. During this 
second period of usage, they tended to cross out the words at the bottom. What makes this particularly nice, I think, is the message that's written on the back. Because it must have been written by the agent in Hong Kong saying, here with specimen of new four cent card. Supply by next mail parcel post to London, mm. 20th of June. Mm. So I like to think that the agent has queued up on the first day of issue and mm. sent his card and made sure he had a sufficient supply to send to Stanley Gibbons. So it's a tentative first day cover or first day card. And finally, we've got this. An envelope, postal stationery envelope, mm -hmm. dated the 1st of November, 1934. And it says, first cover postmarked on the opening day of the new Kowloon Post Office, 1-11-1934. Oh. Oh. Mm. And it says 7.30, so the chances are it mm. was the first one. Yeah. And that, I believe, is when it moved to the other side of Salisbury Road into the building that was formerly a garage. Oh, yeah. The, the it house. was intended as a temporary building, but remained yeah. in use by the post office. Until the 90s. Yeah, the, the, the one that looked like a little hut. On, on uh, yeah. which was the one it moved out of yeah. and then into the, the big one. Yeah. yeah. And it's an interesting postal stationery envelope, size Very. D. Very. Excellent. Sorry. Because it's off white with a speckled bluish interior, grey interior, shiny, smooth paper. So it doesn't seem to fit any of those listed so far. So whether it's a, a new type or not, or not, I don't know. But uh, an interesting little item to finish off with. Thank you. Good. I'll stop sharing. Right. There we go. Very nice. Mm. Questions? Anybody? Hi, Sam. <laughs> yes, very nice, very nice. Uh, Susan, uh, impressed by, by your, your station. Yes. Okay, maybe ne next time you can show some definitive uh, first day covers. I haven't got very many. <laughs> yeah. George, I think I think the earlier ones are very hard. I believe George, mostly it's George the Sixth. I think George the Sixth. Yes, yet yeah, yeah, there are lots of those Fifth, around, but not many George the Fifth. No, yeah, yeah, not, not not easy. No, so. And they're not, usually not marked. We just a, a coincidental first day cover, or, yes. or first day of use or, or issue that 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 the mm -hmm. stamp. Right. Anyway, okay. Uh, if no more questions asked, uh, uh, I will. I'd like to go on to the next uh, presenter, uh, Simon. So, Simon. Yes. Okay. Um, let me start sharing the screen. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, in, in fact, um, this topic is uh, seems to be very easy and seems to be very difficult. <laughs> also, I suppose everybody is having first day covers. And mm. basically, most of the collectors started their philatelic path from first day covers, including myself. And uh, of course, in, in the early days, I, 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 I collect stamps and first day covers, and then uh, I, I, I started to, to develop my knowledge and my interest in more, more on the uh, postal history. But uh, without um, the interesting things or, or the attractions of the first day covers, I, I, I don't think I, I was still sitting here to, to do the presentation. So uh, for me, first day covers are, are quite uh, interesting and, and, and important uh, to, to my repetitive part. Okay, uh, this first one, yeah, as Andrew uh, mentioned, uh, there are in, in fact, there are, uh, are, are quite uh, a lot of uh, uh, collectors queuing up 
uh, for, for this set of Jubilee stamps in 1935. And I suppose there are a lot of these uh, birthday covers hanging around in the market. And uh, in, in, in the old days when I collected birthday covers, uh, the, these, these things are, are not that, that expensive. Uh, I'm not sure about the price today. And I heard that the, the price has uh, invaded quite a lot. Five and, figures. Uh, <laughs> and uh, oh, five figures. Yeah, five figures. Oh, wow. Incredible. <laughs> And yeah, this design is, is, is it, in fact, it's quite popular and quite, quite commonly found. Um, and uh, yeah, and in fact, I have another one. Um, the, these kind of uh, design uh, is, 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 is not as, as nice or as, as pretty as the left one, but uh, yeah, but uh, it's not quite uh, commonly seen. Okay. Um, well, inter Simon, it's interesting. It's, it, uh, you, yeah, Captain A.E. Mm -hmm. e. Hopkins. Mm -hmm. Is that the same as the major Hopkins, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> huh? I don't the know. Is the name the same? Yeah, probably yes. So he, he's got he's got promoted to uh, to the major. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> he's the same guy. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, carry on, carry on. Yeah. Yeah, and and regarding the 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 uh, oh, I don't have any any first to show uh, for for the 1937 uh, coronation because uh, I don't I don't find any, any interesting first day covers in, in my shoebox for, for that uh, uh, issue. And uh, yeah, this one, the centenary. In fact, one of my uh, beloved set of stamps in, in those days, and so I, I collected some first day covers uh, of, of this set. Uh, and then uh, I I got some uh, uh, first covers with the branch offices and uh, including Kowloon Pong, Wan Chai, and I, I suppose I have some 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 uh, other branches like uh, Kowloon City and uh, maybe Saint uh, but I I, I I couldn't find them <laughs> within a short period of time. And uh, you know the, the, these first day covers uh, hang around somewhere in, in my boxes or shoe boxes or. or or albums, I, I, I for, I've for, forgotten where, where they are. Well, um, yes, and uh, the, the, yeah, the, the, these are the, the uh, uh, branch offices for, for the centenary. And oh, well, uh, these two days, uh, some, some messages uh, I, I received about uh, the uh, selling of, of uh, a first couple of, of this centenary set uh, with the Trang Chao X translation with a, a very, very incredible price, which I I, I really feel, wow, what, what was happening in the market. I, I don't know, may, maybe because Chang Chao X is, is, is quite rare for, for this first day couple, or maybe because of the address here, I, I don't know, but, well, I, I, I yeah. Not seen, not seen the Chang Chao X cancer. It's a five really? figure something, oh. again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, uh, when, when, when I was collecting this set of uh, 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 centenary stamp plastic covers, uh, yeah, I have seen uh, a, a lot from, from other branches, but yeah. not, not Chang Chao. Not, not Chang Chao, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen from, from uh, 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 Shuttlecock and, yeah. uh, and, and then basically all other Most branches. Of the branches except, except, yeah, except uh, Chang Chao and Sai Kong. Okay, um, then the next one, yeah, um, this one is a little bit special. It, it, in fact, it was from uh, Royal Artillery in Stanley. And uh, so it, you can see it, uh, we put the triangle mark in the red, a pass by sensor 1 to 22, and it's registered to, to, to England. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, this is the uh, Hong Kong Philatelic Society first cover with uh, Yamati and also with the label Y. And uh, yeah, I have uh, some others with SSP Sun mm -hmm. or SWB Shanghai branch, etc. Uh, yeah, but I, again, I, I, I couldn't have them scanned it to my PC. Uh, this guy, this guy, uh, Dr. Alvarez, actually he was, a, was a member of the HKPS. Oh, so okay. The, yeah, he, he uh, because I I actually showed uh, a a membership receipt for oh, him, okay. so so he's a definitely a member of the. So this is this is possibly the the the, the present uh, Hong Kong Philatelic Society uh, mm. could could be the first one you know uh, 
But the one that I showed before, I'm not quite sure whether it's the same uh, philatelic society, you know, the one I showed in 1941. Oh, oh, right. Andrew, yeah, you mentioned that the delay in the Chinese name is, is different. So, so what, what, what was the Chinese name? Uh, uh, it, it's translated as Hong Kong Stamp Collector's Clock or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's different. I mean, you know, Hong Kong Philatelic Society never never has a, a Chinese name attached. Mm -hmm. It's always Hong Kong Philatelic Society. So I just okay. wonder whether actually it's, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you look at uh, the one of the covers, I think it's the top right one. It's actually uh, address address to to the guy called Osborne. Osborne mm -hmm. was, was Osborne was was actually the first. Uh, the first president uh, of the Hong Kong Philatelic Society, and he had a picture in in, um, in a newspaper. I've probably seen it before. You know, with the standing there, uh, you know, looking quite handsome guy. Uh, uh, you know, uh, from the from the I think one of the Stamp magazines. Hmm. Anyway, okay. more research needed. Yeah. So yeah. so if, if you just address it to Mr. Osborne, then I suppose that Philatelic. Oh, that that that. Uh, pre -pre 19, 18, yeah, 19, 1941 is it, the is a de facto. Uh, it, it's a Hong Kong Philatelic yeah. Society uh, first day cover. Right, right, right. There, there, there are a lot of it. If you if you look back, uh, yeah, yeah. you know when when you when you go through the the, the meeting again, you, mm. you see that uh, between uh, where there were the, I, I showed four covers. You yeah. can well, they are not not mine. Okay, I just want to show pictures. I, I'm not like you that you show your collection. <laughs> a lot of these records, uh, and um, and then you can see the registration label. I mean, uh, it's it's a registration. Uh, the uh, uh, Hong Kong Q a Q is is for bulk mailing, and and um, and the number is actually uh, is from zero uh, one one zero zero something to one four something. So there must be four hundred. Uh, uh, covers sent. Uh, mm. Well, maybe not. Maybe but, you know there were, there were certainly a lot of all, all of these those covers. Yeah. Okay. Not um, easy to find, but on occasion. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you, you yeah. Know, I've seen those covers, but I I didn't uh, record yeah. the. It, it's the your, is this and... one a white cover or a brown cover? I think it should be a white one, but toned toned a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A toned white one. Yeah. Because I showed the three, there's a brown one uh, with, right. without a cross, and then there's also the brown. The, actually, it's a, a, yeah, there's a Manila, Manila envelope with the cross, the printed, printed right. cross for, for register. I, I haven't seen, 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 seen that before with the cross. The print. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, okay. Um, so there are three uh, yeah. versions. Yeah, this this one. Uh, this yeah, I, I, I just showing. I mean, in fact, I have some some comments on 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 the HAPS uh, uh printed uh first day covers. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because uh yeah, as as Susan has illustrated uh, the 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 CPA first day cover, the, the first one, the the, the piece or Korea set. I think uh, uh that one is is the most most expensive among the CPA series. And uh, and uh, it, it, because someone said that uh, it is the rarest and with, with the with just a small quantity issued, and and uh, besides of of the quantity, I, I suppose one one reason is that um, they have a, a very systematic uh, a, a record or information about all the birthday covers that they have mm. printed, mm. and they even have a catalog of what well, mm. well, in, in fact they 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 printed all. Those they illustrate all 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 the uh, CK uh, first couples in, in in one of their book uh, to 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 commemorate the fifteen years of, of CPA. So I, I I'm just wondering where where the KPS is having all this kind of information about the first couples that they they have printed before. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe the first one in 1941 and then the same one in 1946. And uh, and anyone. Uh, it's actually collecting all those first couples of HKPS and, and can can someone uh, put together illustration of, 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 of all those first day covers and, and maybe uh, publish a catalog uh, yeah. for, for all the HKPS first day covers. Yeah, I think that would be a great job if, if it can be done. Yeah. We, we, we never actually produce as many as many first day covers uh, as the CPA. I think uh, it's only doing uh, 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 the, the senior Stephen Chan, 
that he, he produced uh, the first day covers for for the HKPS, uh, and and then prior to that, I think there was there, there there was a gap of many many years without anything. Yeah, yeah, that that that's I, I'm also thinking about because I think that the uh, the, uh, the 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 few senior so-called members of the of the Hong Kong HKPS, and I think they didn't they didn't collect first day covers. Mm -hmm. So maybe they had no interest whatsoever. Yeah. And and in those days, the the book was the the government uh, issue, the official issue. Uh, yes, right. You're I right. think even CPA with with the, mm -hmm. with the China the Telic Association, uh, you could. I remember when and when I was 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 a lad, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I could buy buy them from book shop, bookstores, you know, mm -hmm. in, in different colors. You know, they were printed in but at least four different colors. The say the words, uh, the wording. Okay. Four different colors. You can buy them from bookshop for fifty cent or something like that, and um, and they didn't get much uh, attention uh, in those days, except to only to CPA members, uh, because everybody because when when the government uh, when the post office issued uh, the official first day cover in I think in nineteen sixty seven with, with, with the Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody start buying the, the, the government, uh, the official official first day covers, rather than the covers produced by uh, philatelic societies. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. That's. Uh, yeah. Let, let, let's see. And uh, yeah, I, I think uh, if, if someone can at least show uh, all all the available first day covers from from SAPS, I, I think mm -hmm. that that would. Be. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyhow, and uh, the next one, uh, this one, uh, I, oh yeah, because I, 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 I haven't touched my first aid cover collections for, for many years, I, I, I'm not sure whether I, my memory is correct or not. As far as I remember, that is a bigger version of, of this first, first aid cover. Mm -hmm. And at the back, this should be a Hong Kong Heritage Society. But this smaller form factor one uh, this, uh, is without any, any, any wordings. Uh, at, at the back, except uh, in, 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 in this uh, cover of mine, and there's only a registered label from, from one child. And uh, yeah, and, and also this address to uh, uh, Mr. Evans uh, of Concord Society. Yeah. So I suppose this one should be the HKPS one. Yeah. The label is on the back, right? Uh, yeah, the label is on the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, comparing with the uh, CPA one, uh, yeah, the, the right one is, is from uh, uh, the Chan Creative Association. Uh, yeah, I, I think a uh, lot of days the, 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 the CPA version can, can fetch a much higher price than, than, than the HK. <laughs> and I heard that there are three, three different colors of, of the CPA uh, per se couple of, yeah. of, of this silver red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is another firstly cover from HKPS, and uh, yeah, it's printed in front of the Telex Society at the back. Mm. And uh, you can see that the Yama T register label has changed it from um, the, the big Y, I think I have the big Y here, yeah, right. And, uh, and then it is now a, a pre printed uh, as a label, as a register label, registration label. So this is and, actually uh, the HKPS version, this one. So, so yeah, this is yeah, the HKPS version. It's got HKPS printed on the back. Yes. Mm. Well, obviously that, that Dr. Oh, Amari, yeah. it was, it was, uh, I think he was one of the key members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. He, not one of the, well, the council or well, the uh, board member, committee member. Okay. Uh, Going to the 1952 uh, coronation, and uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think I have a, 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 a typo. This should be 1953. Uh, 1953 coronation, and uh, the special interesting thing of this cover is the, the Trin one skeleton mark. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this one uh, is uh, text. And uh, I think yeah, in those days the, the collector the collectors uh, 
were starting to 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 take different uh, kind of uh, kind of products, including the the, the fossil fuel uh, covers, etc. And I, I suppose this um uh 1962 stem and Henry issue of stem uh it, is is the one with the first government printed plastic cover. Although I, I, I'm not showing the image of that plastic cover here, but in, in fact, uh, that cover uh, is, uh, uh, goes along with a booklet. And inside the booklet, in fact, that, that is a set of stamps. I, I don't know whether they, 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 they were sent separately or together, but, but in fact, most, uh, in fact, all, all the plastic covers uh, I, I, I got is having uh, this booklet. And, and, mm. and that, that is a set of stamps inside the booklet. And uh, yeah, I'm showing some interesting thing of, of my first day cover of, of this set, and, and uh, probably you can see that uh, yeah. the, the tile exactly. is, the, the 62 is inverted. Yeah. Is it new find? Uh, well, I, I, in fact, I, I have shown that this one in one of the previous meetings about, about uh, postmark errors. No, I've never seen this before. Is that, yeah. Is that the first? Does all the Thai O uh, uh, first day cover have this uh, shows show this uh, inverted uh, six? I don't know. Plus. This is the this is only example that I've seen. And I mm. oh, so there are other Thai O covers that have the no. I, I I haven't seen other Thai O covers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. This is um the freedom from hunger. And yeah. Uh, yeah, can you see the interesting thing here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Shantripo Hong Kong. Hong Kong, yeah. Yeah. And in, in, in fact, uh, this Shantripo Hong Kong has been used for quite a long time. And I've seen this uh, index A Hong Kong on uh, the Red Cross uh, stamp. Red Cross, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As well. OK, and then the 65 international cooperation mm -hmm. year. Can you see anything interesting? Oh, I have, I have some hints. Yeah, the stamp. Yeah, the stamp. Is that is that different printing or uh, action error? Or uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, in fact, when, when I purchased this first cover, there, 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 there is a label on, on uh, sticking on, on, on the plastic bag uh, mm. saying that uh, uh, this uh, Stamp is having a, a pale green color, and yeah, when I scanned it, this two cover deliberately uh, not to do and 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 uh, uh, um, just in colors. To, not to just a, a color changeling. Yeah. So I, uh, this is in, in fact uh, uh, when I am holding them on hand, yeah, the, the, the right one is, is actually a much paler than the color. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, it, I, I, I didn't see a, a, anyone reported mm -hmm. about this one, but yeah, just, just, a, mm -hmm. just somehow minor, uh, minor thing, you know, maybe. Simon, yes. have you seen this first day cover with the gray color missing? No. <laughs> I think I have one. I have to dig oh. it up okay. and send okay. it to you. Yeah, oh, okay. that's good. You mean the gray color? On yeah, the color. on the cover. On mm. the cover, the okay. whole gray is gone. Oh. Oh, okay. The whole gray is gone. So yeah. you just got the green word and, and nothing yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll send that to you, Simon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I find it, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Some. Sometimes. Uh, if you collect a uh, branch post office translations. Sometimes you find some uh, rare translations only on first day covers, like this one, Canton Road, Double Ring. Mm -hmm. I bet not many of you have seen this translation. Yeah. And uh, in, in the CPA's uh, book published in 1994, mm -hmm. they recorded mm -hmm. only one date, and, and the date is the next issue of the commemorative stamp, which is mm -hmm. the Hong Kong historic maps or uh, I forgot. This is in 1985, mm -hmm. the issue, and and they they didn't have a record uh, of this Canton Road double ring uh, uh, on on this uh, 1984 yeah. uh, Tropical Centenary issue. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, this is quite a, a, a rare cancellation. So so the cancel must have been sitting in the in the yeah. safe. <laughs> yeah, the in the in the cabinet. And then yeah. and some uh, knowledgeable collectors deliberately asked the, 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 the postmaster, hey, I, I, I know that you, you have a double ring cancer inside the cabinet. Please take it out to cancel my first take up. No, I thought Canton Road is a single, oh, is yeah, a single ring, of, of course. Yeah, single yeah. ring, yeah. Yes, of course, yeah. Just complain that the single ring is, is damaged. Uh, maybe maybe it's too, too small, too small to cancel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too small, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, these are uh, all about the issuing of stamps. Then I uh, will switch to the branch post office day of opening covers. Uh, this one is the opening of the Yunlong uh, office in 1934, December the 6th. And uh, it's re re reported uh, in the uh, uh, government uh, uh, report uh, for the new territories that uh, the, the post office, uh, in fact, uh, has uh, taken over uh, all, all those uh, postal things from, from, from oh, the police. And uh, yeah, in, in fact, this location is uh, along the Yunlong main road. And, 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 and this location has been there for, for many years, uh, uh, even after post-war. I think it's till uh, 1959 or 1960, something like that, when it moved to a temporary hut uh, uh, next to the bus depot. Now, uh, in fact, the original location is, is along in the southern side of the you know, main road and opposite to them is the Pokoi Hospital. In, in fact, that Pokoi Hospital is not the, the, the hospital, uh, 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 the big hospital complex uh, itself. It is the a small clinic for, for, uh, 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 for Chinese medicine. And it's also quite close to the rural committee office. Okay, this is the opening of the Stanley Postal Kiosk. And uh, yeah, in, in fact- well, Simon, the, the, you mind yes. going back to the, the other cover on the own norm? Yeah. Don't you think the, the handwriting looks familiar to you? Uh, yes, I see it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> His handwriting is, is, is quite uh, characteristic. Yeah, so yeah. this is actually maybe Li Xing, uh, mm -hmm. supposed to, uh, it must have been his what his watchman. So he's actually sending sending the cover to his. Uh, yeah, 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 right. Also uh, from waterworks, uh, maybe may, maybe just a subordinate of, of, of Yeah, yeah, waterworks. Yeah, waterworks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This Sandy Postal Kiosk uh, opened on the third of August, nineteen thirty-seven, and in fact, according to the report of the director of public works, uh, that that building uh, in fact was completed on the seventeenth of July. And uh, yeah, that building, I think, I suppose, is still is still in, in that location today. Yeah. Yeah, but but it, it is still operating as a post office. I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, still oh, there. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, the the bus did demolish it. Because uh -huh. the bus crashed into it. Oh, right, right. The, the double yeah, decker right. bus that crashed into the post office, but that, that, that stopped it for about a month. Yeah, and, and, and then the next day, a lot of collectors went there to, 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 to got some interesting. Yeah, they, they, had a, they had a mobile van uh, uh, in front of the post office to cater for the, the normal sort of uh, a postal train. Yeah. Uh, it's still there. Yeah, uh, yeah, then it should be the, the oldest uh, uh, post office in Hong Kong, which is still operating. Yeah. Okay, oh, this is quite controversial. And <laughs> I, I shared this information to, to, to John, to Richard, uh, etc. And then uh, John uh, just, just, John Tang just said that, oh, this, this is wrong information because the dates are the uh, 19th of February 1947, it, it's even used by a CPA and also used by Hong Kong PO. Uh, in fact, I, 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 I got uh, this sheet uh, with the cover many years ago, and I'm not sure uh, whether it, 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 it was the, the, the actual opening day and, 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 actually, uh, and, and uh, where, where was that office for the reopening. Uh, I asked the senior control of post of the Hong Kong post office at, at that time, around 19, 19 something. And she answered me that, oh, sorry, uh, we, we, we have lost all the information and records. And uh, I, I, I have no idea about 
the answer <laughs> of the question. And then, um, um, yeah, you, you can see that uh, this is from an old, old, old collection and it specifically mentioned about the reopening of the post office. Um, that means it's not a uh, move, this is not a removal to a new location. This is reopening uh, in, in an old location. And, and then, um, then, yeah, the question is where was it located? And the, the interesting thing is that, and, 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 and the reason why John Tang uh, said that this is a, a wrong information is that uh, I, I got an example of Chang Chao uh, with this double ring cancellation uh, dated 1946, February, some day. So prior to this reopening, if, is, if that, there is an actual reopening, there must have some postal service arranged mm -hmm. for Chang Chao. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I suppose uh, maybe my, my theory is that uh, after the war, uh, yeah, in, in fact, um, uh, and, and, and after uh, passing of, of the control of the island from the military to, to the uh, police, then probably the post office resumed uh, the postal uh, uh, arrangement, or at least some postal uh, or limited postal service for Chang Chao, and uh, uh, maybe uh, at, at, at maybe using an agent or whoever, and then uh, until the the the, uh, uh, the police uh, office is is uh, well encrypted or or, or or has become a, a a more suitable place for post office op uh, operation, then uh, the post office could be opened the, the uh, actual office in, in, the, in the police station. And, and, and in 1953, in fact, there was a relocation from, yeah, maybe from, from the po uh, police station to, to, to Changchao, to, to School Road at uh, number 5A, and adjacent to, to the health office. So uh, there are some, there's still some information unknown and, and, and I don't know whether uh, uh, there are some uh, I can take out or somebody can, can turn up some new information uh, about this history. Um, this is uh, Xinwan, uh, 1953. And uh, according to, to uh, Richard Pittington's article, uh, uh, it, uh, was located at uh, number five, uh, Chungwan Street, and uh, it it, uh, re it replaced the previous local arrangements. And yeah, that local arrangements it, it, it is quite uh, yeah, yeah it, it implies a lot of the, of thing. And 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 it, in fact, um, for uh, remote locations, including new territories uh, like uh, maybe Changchao. And then I'm sure for Saikong and maybe for, for, for Aberdeen and, um, and also maybe for Shuttlecock, et cetera. Be before they reopened or reopened a, 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 a proper office, uh, the post office had in fact uh, arranged some local arrangement for, for collecting and delivering of mails, either through the rural committee or, or, or through some agents there or through, through, through some, somebody there. And uh, yeah, that, that's before. Uh, they 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 opened their proper office. So in Chinwan, this uh, proper office was opened in, uh, in 1953, and before that, they have some uh, local arrangements. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, and and yeah, you, you can see that uh, this cover uh, uh, was addressed to Mr. Peter Shack at uh, Castle Pit Road, and uh, and that. Uh, means the, the mail uh, had to uh, go to current office, current post office, and then the the, the uh, postman, I think the bit number S fifteen, uh, was responsible to to deliver that mail to uh, Mister Peterson. Okay, this one also. Uh, oh, okay, the the, the uh, uh, removal of the the central post branch uh, to to uh, interstate uh, the the government building. Uh, interesting thing of this cover is that it is also addressed to Mr. Peter Shack and also to the same address at 479 Council Peak Road. But after the opening of this central uh, post office, 
In fact, some of the uh, sorting and delivery functions of current post office was uh, taken over by Shamshui Po. Uh, that means um, the postman and the postman bit chops uh, was passed from current to Shamshui Po. And maybe they, maybe Shamshui Po uh, had, had, had some uh, uh, adjustment to, to, the, to the numbers of, of, of the bits. So you can see that on this cover, it is S18. Mm. The postman bit chop is S18 instead of the previous one, S15. But no. yeah, the address is the same. Yeah. Right. Probably due, due to due, due to the, 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 the handover of, of, of that delivery function from, from County to Shamshi Boy, and there's some some re readjustments. So the bit chop was mm -hmm. uh at, was uh, uh so designated to a particular a number, say maybe a, a street number, right? Instead of a yeah. person. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, from so for example, uh, four hundred to four to five hundred Castle Peak Road is S eighteen. Yeah. From five hundred to six hundred is S nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A man you uh, on nineteen sixty. Uh, can you see something interesting here? Or uh, besides of uh, one is ordinary, one is registered. The question is for all those uh, temporary post office or branch office uh, with the skeleton truck, do you think there's only one skeleton truck or more than that? Could be more than one. Yeah, for this one. I, I'm not doing a, a, any digital uh, overlapping or images, uh, but I think uh, you, you can just... Uh, yeah, you can see the, uh, yeah. the 60s, right. you know, the... Yeah, right. The, the, the position the, the, of the 60s to, to the arcade. Yeah. It's the layout of, of, of the words are, are, are different. In, in fact, yeah, you can see the years, like the, the one is with yeah. a small 6-0. Yeah. And, and this smaller 6 Six zero or six one six two are in fact quite common uh, to to other skeleton uh, tops in in wall or in, uh, in, in mobile one etc. But with the the, the large, larger uh, 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 year slots and and it is may, maybe they they use it for a few days maybe during the first day I I don't know. Mm. In, in fact, I have tried to to uh, compare those skeleton uh, uh, tops uh, of. Uh, of uh, uh, first the uh, the first one was, was it Shajin, and then uh, yeah mobile one and then uh, uh, Wu and uh, yeah Shatin Chin one, but well, in fact Shatin I have both ordinary and register and and they look exactly the same, uh, mm. and then uh, Chin one I don't have the register cover I only have the ordinary cover cover and and both covers are, are having the same chop, and um, for many arcade. The, the office that there, 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 there were two two chops there, and mm. uh, for Mui Wall, I, I I I couldn't I couldn't uh, find the one with the uh, PM or AM index, but in fact in on my record I I I I, I should have one. I, I maybe uh, at a later time I I, I will try to figure it out. PM and, or and, AM could be the same chop. They just yeah, but, but uh, without AM or PM, mm. I mean the other one is different from Mui Wall. Yeah. Okay. If you you if you have more, you have a, a, a few examples, then you can try to compare it. Mm. Okay. I think uh, that topic can apply to the later temporary post office as well. Where, whether they 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 brought one or, or two scattered trucks to to those temporary post office. Yeah. And uh, I I just look at the university PO in 1961, and and uh, yeah, in fact, I I found two scattered trucks for. University PO temporary post office. Okay. Um, yeah, then uh, yeah, for for uh, the ML registered uh, covers, they, they started to use uh, gray green uh, labels, which looks beautiful to me. <laughs> and in, in fact, they are not easy to uh, to to find. You can see that this uh, the number is number one, <laughs> <laughs> and and usually these are single digit. Uh, I mean, I mean the AMA register label, and the right one is the ordinary uh, or the local register. But this is interesting in the fact that it's having a stamp off. I don't know it's, it, it's, 
it is all deliberate, you know, or I, I don't know. <laughs> and, 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 and the register receipt, you can see that uh, it is 42 to 54. So uh, yeah, they, 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 the post office didn't issue one receipt for, for each uh, register item. They just issue one receipt for, for all those uh, register bills uh, uh, that you, 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 you were sending. 42 to 54. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, you, yeah, the, yeah, the, you can only see one, that. Only one receipt for, from, from number 42 to 54. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 13 items uh, from Mr. Shack. <laughs> well, this is Shack as well, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. PO Box 8108, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Shack's PO number. Mm. And uh, this one okay. uh, is, uh, yeah, uh, and then the mobile number two, uh, they, are, uh, they, are, they, they use also a green, a gray green, uh, uh, dark green uh, label for registered airmail purpose. And Camtin, uh, and then for Camtin, uh, or, or maybe in 1965, they, they changed the color to, to a, a lighter green one. And also, yeah, single digit. And this one is, um, what, what is it? Hampton Street. Hampton Street. Yeah, the label is a bit uh, different. It, it is. Yeah, we can see from the fonts or, or, or the, the preparations. Yeah, it is a bit piece of different type. And uh, then Warrison Hill Row. Yeah, again, it, it, the color is uh, is a light green or kind of bluish green. Okay. Uh, in 1967, um, the current post office. Uh, in fact, was renamed. Uh, I mean, the current post office at, at uh, Salisbury Road, uh, uh, next uh, uh, near to the, the train terminus, uh, was renamed Chimsa Choi. So you can see that uh, on the first day of the, the changing of the post office name, they are still using the old uh, registration label. You can see from the number, it, they, they still continue to, to use the Kowloon uh, uh, label uh, with uh, 5, uh, 3,500 3, something as a number. But on the same day, uh, a lot of, of these functions uh, were relocated to Cowden Central, which was opened on the same day. So you can see that Cowden Central was having its own uh, printed registration label. Mm -hmm. And uh, it started from 0001. And uh, this example is number two. Mm -hmm. And uh, not all the cancellations or, or machines uh, were installed in Cullen Central on the, on the same day, and, uh, and especially those in the shopping office. So um, this is, uh, uh, as, as, as far as my record is concerned, this is the, the earliest day for, for this Cullen Central Index A machine cancellation. And then this is uh, 1997, September 21st, and it's also the, the earliest day for the Cullen Central Index number C. Or I've been read for postage pay items. Okay, then I'm going to talk about Japanese occupation. Yes, um, there are uh, well, in fact, not, not that many, but 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 still, you can you can still find find them from time to time uh, with the first set of six stamps uh, issued between the, the first day of the opening of the uh, Hong Kong. Uh, uh, the general post office and, 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 and the Kowloon central post office. These are the two examples. Uh, and, and one is from, uh, from East Asia, and then the other one is from uh, Mr. Amada. Um, Amada's, uh, either father or president of the, mm -hmm. you see, it says Lusitano. Club Lusitano. You see, yeah. we, we used to meet uh, in yeah. the Club Lusitano in the 1970s. 1980s, in 1980, mm -hmm. still met the club in Chicano. Yeah, I think yeah, it's a good, it's a very good place for, for gathering. Yeah, so I think Leo could be his father. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know. It could be. That's why you've got the club in Chicano connection. Mm, yeah, right. The same location, huh? High South yeah, Street. Exactly. Well, now it's a new building, but uh, yeah, the same with a, with a with a mosaic of a, of a Portuguese uh, ship. Huh. The old Club Lusitano. They they have a huge grey mosaic on the wall. 
uh, depicting a Portuguese uh, uh, character, you know, like an like old bat, old ship. Yeah. Okay, um, the, the, uh, the next issue of uh, or the formal or well, well known issue of stamps uh, is, is the uh, set of three on 1945 uh, uh, April uh, 16. And besides the free stamp, they also issued uh, 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 overprinted uh, postal stationery card with uh, one, one, one yen 50 cents on, on the original two, two, uh, two cent postal stationery card. What's the yeah. what's road, uh, Simon? What's the... This, huh. this guy on the left. Question. Good question. Uh, Queen's Road is, I don't know. <laughs> now, what was the label? The label is oh, oh you mean the label label is one chai oh one chai one chai okay so so it's one chai don't feel war yeah probably probably queen's row east queen's row east um yeah and then i go i'll talk a little bit about the the, the first day of the uh, the rate and um, and on the first day of the issue of the stamps and and the photo station card uh for, for local card rate is two cents. And uh, mm. uh, this one is, uh, is from uh, our great collector, Mr. John Tang. And then uh, this one is from Kowloon, a four cent rate uh, for uh, local mail. And this is from Kowloon to Kowloon uh, with a best stamp of Kowloon Post Office three days afterwards. This is the, uh, 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 yeah, on, on April the 1st, uh, just uh, less than three months from, from, from the uh, first opening of the post office, they, they increased the post, uh, the local, uh, uh, the postage rate. Uh, and for local mails uh, from four cents to five cents. So this is the first day of usage of, of the five cent rate to local. And uh, in, you know, in fact, local in, including China uh, or China including local. Yeah. They, they are having the same, same rate. So this is five cent rate to, to, to Canton. And uh, for the first few months after the opening of the post office, they didn't accept registered mails. And until the 1st of December, uh, 1942, uh, this is the first day of uh, the acceptance of registered mails. And you can see the first type of registration label uh, hand, uh, with handwritten Hong Kong on, on, on the label. And then um, this is to, to local address. And yeah, for, for foreign destinations um, to Southern China, including Canton, they only allow uh, uh, registration of, of mails to, to Southern Canton on 1943. Uh, May 25th. So this is uh, the first day of the register registered mail to to the Canton. And then uh, on the days of the issue of the uh, of set of free so trust stamps, uh, they also revised the deposit rate. And for uh, Japan, China, and Hong Kong. Um, the, the uh, normal wholesale rate is uh, 3 yen. And then for registration is 5 yen. So this is posted on the uh, first day of, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, newly effective uh, table, rate table with uh, 5 plus 3 yen to, uh, this is to, to Japan. After the war, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to talk about the, the, the first day of the opening of the uh, post office with, with, with stamps, uh, which is uh, the, the 28th of September 1945, because uh, I think I, I will spend maybe half an hour talking about it if I need to, because of all the, the current Hong Kong and all, all, all those stories behind. So I skipped that part. And, and yeah, and, and, and for, for Macau, um, the first day of, uh, of mails uh, set up for Macau is uh, October the 1st. 1945. You can see that the arrival is on October the 3rd, two days afterwards. Why it took so long? 
I don't know. May, may, maybe they, 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 they need some time to arrange for the ferries to, to travel from Hong Kong to Macau. Yeah, three days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the traveling time for the ferry, I mean, it's just a few hours, but they, they, they needed to wait for you know, the contracted ferry. Mm. And then uh, on uh, October 18th of 1945, um, the uh, the post office started to accept mails uh, to UK, a uh, surface mails with a uh, fifteen cents rate. Wire series and and the first shipments SS Empire letter. And for airmail, uh, the first day is 20, 20th of October, and the rate is one dollar. It's probably uh, uh, the mails were probably taken by the Royal Air Force. Okay, something new. Uh, mini Postal Service, 1989, Discovery Bay. This is a memo or, or notice from the management office uh, saying that uh, Mini Postal Service will, 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 will be provided to Discovery Bay residents uh, for sale of postage stamps and then uh, letter registration and parcel acceptance, etc. And uh, yeah, it's an example mm -hmm. of uh, registered mail for uh, for the uh, opening, the first day opening of, of the mini postal service at Discovery Bay. A newer <laughs> item, um, a special machine, a bulky machine, and it looks like a stupid machine called the automatic mailing system. Uh, installed for trial use on the 9th of August. 1994. You can see the photo, the shape of that machine. I don't know how many of you all who, 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 who have actually used that machine. I, I suppose Andrew. Yeah, I used it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the and, size uh, of a big refrigerator. Yes, a much a very, very big one. Very slow. Yes. And and in fact, there, there was a restriction of one item post per customer yeah. on, on the first day. So uh, it, it, it took me uh, a whole half day to mail just a few items. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a register one, and yeah, this is printed uh, with the label on, on the envelope. And uh, yeah, you can see the receipt. It's also a printed receipt with a poor uh, printing of this and the image of the, of the address. But in fact, it's interesting to, to see the details of, of, of that uh, uh, mail item passed through the machine. It mentioned about the postage rate, the registration number, and also the postage zero number is 313. Um, uh, among, and among them, uh, there, there were 276 registered items. And the time uh, was 19, uh, 45 in the evening. Yeah, Uh, yeah, this is an example of uh, ordinary mail, the one one dollar rate without the, the regist registration number uh, below. And uh, yeah, I I I in fact I went to mail and uh, uh, some more items uh, two weeks afterwards, and this one is on the twenty uh, fourth of August, uh, around two weeks from the first trial, and uh, you can see the 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 uh, serial number is. Uh, 1,500 something. Okay. And uh, I, I have no idea, I have no record of when uh, what, what was it phased out. And, and I suppose it, it, it's, uh, it's not very long living uh, because no. uh, yeah, it, it, it's, so, uh, it is. I think only, only about a few months. Oh, really? it clearly wasn't reliable machine. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's all for me. And yeah, thank you for listening. Great, yeah. Oh, where are you? Can't see you. Great, that was a fantastic show. Um, yeah, that was a, a round of applause for, for Simon, you know, who actually uh, took time actually finding the material. Um, and and it's, it's great. I mean, I, I particularly like that tile one, the inverted 62, which I don't even know exists. <laughs> But um, 
I think I think it would be quite interesting if we could um, maybe for one of these sessions we we, we could talk about uh, say um, as, uh, maybe the stamp exhibitions. I think there was there were several st stamp exhibitions in Hong Kong. Uh, I think the first one was sixty two, uh, yeah. and then they all have special cancellations and things like that. I think we, we should have a, a special session on that. Um, it would be quite interesting. Because I, I did ask about the, uh, you know, that for the 62, uh, centi uh, 62 centenary stamp exhibition, um, uh, there was actually a, a, a clip on, um, on YouTube uh, 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 showing the opening of the post office and yeah. the stamping of the letters. And, and, and um, I mean, most of the covers in extent would be the, the cancel, although there are two types. Or cancels, uh, two rubber cancels, but uh, but 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 most of them in 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 uh, blue ink, and uh, but some uh, I said uh, I think Simon told me they're in black or it was John or something said, told me in in black, so uh, for for special people, so uh, that that's a, that's a something interesting, you know. Uh, so Andrew, we made question: yeah. mm -hmm. Were you there in '62? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was drinking my my milk bottle. <laughs> I I, I think I was there. I think you my parents, there. my my <laughs> father bought me there. Yeah. So Sam, yeah, yeah can you yeah. still remember the, the stamp exhibits? No, I can't. I yeah. I can't. According but, to the booklet, in fact, there there were a lot of great exhibits on on, on Yeah. On, 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 on I, I mean, I I asked myself, why do you start exhibiting? And I think one of the things is that the impression in the 1962 exhibit was so overwhelming. Yeah, it yeah. must have said something in my mind yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, it yeah. must have. Because I questioned myself, why do you want the exhibit? You know, so, mm. so that's why I'm asking who else yeah. were there in 62? Yeah. You know? Mine came in 1970 in Kowloon oh. Park. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, was Tai O was a restricted area back then, right? It still no, is, right? Not Tai O. Tai O is. No, it, don't it, you? Don't you? When you have, you you need your ID card to get in, right? No, no. You can't the drive Chateau there, Kong. right? The Shuttle Kong. No, no, Chateau no but but Tai O. Also Tai O. When you take the bus from, you know, the bus that you could you could join the bus and then oh, no, uh, no. from, yeah. Don't you? Okay. No, I don't think Tai O. Uh, I think uh, Shuttle Kong serves for sure. You, 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 yeah. you, cannot, you cannot go in. But you can't out. drive into Taiyo, right? No, 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 you can't. Well, you can't drive drive into a land town. You need a special and At that license. time, uh, yeah, I think it's so difficult to have a car there in, in, in Land Town Island. Yeah. And then the post, the Taiyo post office is still there. Uh, yes. Uh, beside the, beside the, uh, the fire station, still there. I actually may may not be because the the original tile could be could be attached to the police station, and that could be new building. Uh yes, in in nineteen sixties they they opened it uh, in a uh, in a new building. Yeah. Yeah. yeah previously, yeah. yeah, that the post office, I I, I mean the, the pre war office uh, was attached to the police station. Yeah, the police Which station is now a hotel or something like that. Yes, it's a hotel. Yes, it's uh. But but that that police station was is quite remote. I mean, you have to walk quite a long way uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. towards the quite a long way. I mean, it, it's something at least half an hour walk from the from the from the famous uh, uh, the bridge. Now there there used to be some uh, uh, a ferry that get across the the brook the stream, but now they have a bridge. They built a big bridge you can walk across. But from there, and it's almost half an hour from there to to the to the to the police station. It's, it's quite remote. Yeah. But now it's turned into a, a tourist a, 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 a kind of a, a hotel for, for two, yeah. And and it's it's you you are actually staying in the in the, the officers' mess and and the jail as well. They have a jail in the hotel. <laughs> so it's quite interesting. And when Sam, when next time you come to Hong Kong, you stay in. The, in the Taiyo right. police station in town. <laughs> no, I, I I stay at Discovery Bay anyway, so oh, I was very interested in in Simon's Discovery Bay item. I did yeah. not know that exists. Simon, no. thank you, thank you for showing me that. Okay, right, yeah.
All right. Okay. So, um, any any comments from anybody? Yeah. Can I just ask something? You were talking about um, re reopening post offices after the Second World War. Um, Presumably, did any postmarks actually survive the war? I can't remember because I would have expected them all to be destroyed. I mean, the Japanese intended mm. Hong Kong to be part of Greater Japan. Mm. Um, yeah, for for uh, Victoria and, and Kowloon, um, they, they used uh, a few chops on the first day of opening of, of the post office uh, 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 with the sale of, of stamps. And and some uh, one or two of them, uh, uh, in, in fact, uh, were a uh, pivot types. Although uh -huh. there, 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 there was one, one or two new types, uh, the most famous one is the Kano Hong Kong, and then the Victoria is having an, 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 another new type uh, with, with a, uh, 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 more rounder shape in, in terms of points. But there, there are also some, some examples with, with the old, old, old cancellations. So they were still lying around in the office, even though yeah. <laughs> presumably for, 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 for four years, there'd be yes. every intention that they would never be used again. Yeah, probably backed up in the in the you know the late forgotten you know, in the, in a mm. dark corner. Somebody found them in 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 the, in the in the canvas bag or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's just true. Because some of them are certainly pre-war uh, type. Um, hmm. that, that's a that's a very good question. As far as the stamps as well, you just wonder why why that when when the, when the post office uh, reopened, there was only yeah. Uh, only uh, three yeah. three types of stamps for sale, and why didn't the Japanese destroy them? I mean, they was well certainly the Japanese uh, at that time when they occupied Hong Kong, they never thought that they would get thrown out. <laughs> so so why didn't they burn all the stamps? That's very interesting. Maybe maybe, maybe some postal postal clerk actually smuggled them and uh, hide them in in this uh, in this uh, in the cellar or something. They never it was they were never in the post office but it's only you know only taken back after liberation well oh, that's uh, my imagination <laughs> anyway interesting thought that I, I would one would have thought that when the Japanese found the stamps they would have burned them or sold them or whatever yeah. all right okay so uh, uh, if there's nothing um, uh coming from any of our of our members uh, i guess um well anyway we could have an uh, early session tonight and um and uh, i'll see you next month around the uh, around the middle of the month i think um, we, will, we will talk about something else uh and um and i shall let you know in due course okay mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for joining this very interesting meeting. One would have thought that first day covers nobody want to study, but you know, <laughs> uh, you know for sure that you know you can see the efforts made by Susan and uh, Simon. You know, definitely something really you know worth a loud applause from all of us. And I'm thank sure you, Andrew. Yeah, and thank you, Simon. Thanks, thanks, Susan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Great Simon. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Simon. Great show. Yeah. All right. Thank okay. You. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. you next month. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice day. Nice evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.